Hello and welcome my alien parasites to the best Kingdom Rush Frontier Steam walkthrough in the world. Today we're going to play Sape Oasis, this level right here. Uh, of course, before we get there, i got to show you guys my upgrades, random fires and arrows and Ulrich. My upgrades are sand warriors and spiked armor. Uh, so let's get going in here. This is actually a pretty easy map. I think the most, the thing you need to understand most is that it's okay to not build all four of these towers. And it's okay not to mix them up you know, perfectly, two, 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 two of each. No, you don't need to do that. Just build what you need where you need them, and that is just the easiest way to play the game. So, because I understand this level, I know that all I need to do is something like this. I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, this has got to be the weirdest thing in the entire world. But we're going to go full-on archer towers on the bottom, with one last little mage tower down here once I get the money for it. And then on the top here, we're going to go full-on mage towers. And believe me, I know this looks really funky and really weird and it seems really stupid, but it works. And it works really, really well. And if you're wondering, well, what if a, an armor guy comes on the bottom? He's just gonna annihilate you. Well, no, we've got Ulrich. We've got a rain of fire. There are ways to deal with these guys. So don't worry too much if that ends up happening. So here we go, send us sand hounds. There's already sand hounds coming out. Who cares, man? We can get our barracks over here. We got archers everywhere. And that's the main reason why you want the archers, by the way, is because of these sand hounds. They are fairly troublesome. They are. They're they're fairly difficult to deal with. So here's my second mage tower already. Um, there's gonna be a lot of magic guys coming out of the top. A lot of these kind of weird magic guys as well. Alright, so we're gonna need more reinforcements. Make sure none of these wolves sneak through. Surprisingly, we've got all of our money in the bottom here, and these wolves, set flash, whatever they're called, sand hounds, are still trying to sneak through right now. So we go, let's go on to this next wave already. You guys know I love to start the next wave early. If you're ever having any issues, you know what? Don't start the next wave early. Just wait a little bit longer. You're going to have less money in the late game, but it'll save you a bunch of trouble in the mid to slash late game. Or the mid, early slash mid game. Alright, so we got uh, two fairly strong guys over here, Dune Raiders host. So we want to make sure we stun them, of course, in the range of the magic. It's the best way to do it, right? Yeah, stun them in the range of the magic, and use your reinforcements on the bottom as you need them. So what's next on the agenda? Well, surprisingly, I still want more archers. I want more archers and more archer tower upgrades. So we're going to get more reinforcements down here, and of course, more archer tower upgrades. We're set the next wave early again! Now, I've not used my Reign of Fire yet. So, what does that mean? Does that mean I really don't even need it the entire time? No, I was just saving it for the right moment. And I feel like the right moment is coming up fairly soon. We'll see. And we'll get another uh, Archer Tower upgrade pretty soon. Yeah, let's get this guy upgraded. Because the middle are kind of important too. Think about that, because they're shooting both areas. So let's just rain of fire these guys. Make sure you do it a little bit ahead of the game, otherwise... Um, you're gonna miss, and that sucks. Nobody likes to miss, right? We get another Archer Tower upgrade. Now you're wondering, why aren't I upgrading to third tier? Well, I like to be sort of OCD about everything, and I like to get almost everything the same upgrade before I go crazy. So we got Warhounds coming out, and just some regular guys coming out on this side as well. So we need a little bit more magic attack, because uh, these guys are going to be pretty tanky. Uh, as you can tell, we're doing a much, much better job on the bottom now with all these Archer Towers, but the Mage Towers, they're still struggling just a little baby bit. So what does that mean? That means all we gotta do is stun these guys till we get a rain of fire, or we can just take them down with the Magic Towers. I think that's what we're gonna end up doing anyways. Get just more Mage Towers. <laughs> so if Ulrich's ever hurt, guess what? Move them back. Move them back. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Move them back a little bit. Wait, wait for the right time. He's gonna heal up really nice and quick. And we get another Archer Tower. So just mix it up. Um, actually, ooh, look at this. We got two guys trying to sneak through right now. Ooh, it's kind of fun. Let's move Ulrich back here instead of the next wave. We'll get another. Well, let's get a barracks now. So I want to make I want to I want to make sure that nobody's gonna sneak through. So I'm gonna put a barracks right in between these two. And now we have this immortal coming out. So check this guy out. Armored, high damage, and they return as fallen, which is has, I believe, magical resistance. So you need a multitude of things to attack this guy. So, first things first, of course, magic! So make sure you stun him in the range of several magic towers. Um, and then when he comes out, he becomes this fallen, which, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. I thought he had magic resistance, he does not. So, it really doesn't matter all that much, but just something to note. So we're gonna put an archer tower in the back here as well, just in case a wolf comes out and, you know, wants to take us down or whatnot. 
So what I like to do every single one of my uh, guides slash walkthroughs is full on no lives lost. I don't like to lose any lives. I'm just that type of person. Uh, if I lose a life, I feel like I didn't make a good guide. I shouldn't be losing lives. I should be doing an excellent, excellent job. I think I've only made like one one walkthrough where I actually lost a life and I felt kind of bad about it, but I spent so much time on it. It was like the last level and I was just like, oh my god, I really want to get this video up. So we go, we got four of these guys coming out right now. <gasps> Holy crap, Ola. What are we going to do? Well, let's line them up all on top of each other, rain of fire them, and they're just going to die. Let's go. Line them up on top of each other, rain of fire! Whoop, 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 whoop. So we did a lot, a lot of damage to them. We didn't kill them all, but we did a lot of damage, and that's what really matters here, guys, right? Of course, Ulrich's still stunning in the perfect areas and everything. Now on the bottom here, whoa, 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 oh no, we're afraid, we've got Dune Raiders coming out against us, what are we gonna do, they're armored, oh no, well, guess what, we still got a mage tower down here, not really that big of a deal, right, yeah, there's only three of them anyways, who really cares, boom, took them down. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, I know I'm being kind of lame about that stuff, but it, I just really, it doesn't matter that we have, that we have archers down here, if you want to, if you really feel bad about it, just build a mage tower. I, it's okay. If you want to do that, feel free. So Ulrich's about to die. We want to make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, more strong guys coming off the top up here. So let's spend every single ounce of dollars that we can. So Ulrich does not heal, by the way, if he's in a battle. So the best thing to do, obviously, leave him out of the range of everybody. And as soon as he's at full health, just pop him on back. More magic attacks. Um... I don't really understand what I want to do next. I don't know. There's a lot of guys bunched up here, but I don't know if that's the best time to use my Reign of Fire just yet. Oh, these guys are pretty beefy. These guys are attacking me down to 44 health right now. Yeah, let's move them back. Alright. Um, so now we get all of our magic towers up to second tier. We're going to Reign of Fire. We'll Reign of Fire these Immortals, and we're sending out the next wave. So now we have a little bit of a problem. We've got uh, some Dune Raiders on the bottom here, but we've also got Sand Hounds coming through too. So we're going to make sure we stun these guys and actually take them all down. Uh, so the next thing I want to actually work on is getting all my Archer Towers up to the third tier upgrade. Also, we can put Ulrich back down on the bottom. Seemingly, we got enough Mage, mage Power up in the top there. Um, mages are super duper strong at this point. And I can even go crazy and get a third tier mage tower. This is awesome, guys. It's absolutely awesome. So by the way, I consider the uh, first sec. Yeah, wait. Now I'm confusing myself. I'm confusing myself already. Let's build these guys. Not the next wave. Build some more reinforcements, and we still have the ring of fire all set up. And this is wave ten. So this is the final wave. What does that mean? These. We can use the Rain of Fire early on, or probably use it again if we want to, but I'll save it for a really, really troublesome spot. At this point, it seems like our Mage Towers are doing massive damage to these Immortals. Look at that, man. Third tier Mage Towers for the win. So instead, we focus mostly on the Archer Towers. Um, seemingly, the Wolves are the easiest way to lose a single life. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, we got massive, massive, massive stunning action down here. At this point, I'm really, really not worried at all about a wolf sneaking through. But, he is, again, still the easiest way for us to lose life. So we get another Archer Tower. Now, the sad thing about the Archer Towers is they can miss. Now, Mage Towers can never miss, I don't think. I don't think they can ever miss unless it, like, doesn't reach the target in time. But Archer Towers, after every single time they're done attacking somebody, they miss for one shot. So you're going to notice a lot of arrows go and hit the ground over there. What's up with that? Well, for these really, really fast, sneaky units, um, they tend to miss a lot because they kill them so fast. There's a lot of them, and they end up missing a lot. That's why Mage Towers are technically better against these guys, because they don't miss, but also kind of works because they don't do as much damage. So what it was, that was pretty simple, right? The further we got in, because we sent out those waves very early and all that stuff, the easier it got. Whoop! All right. So I, find, I know that some people find me annoying, and that's okay. But if you do end up liking me, and you think that I'm kind of fun, and I think you think that I make good walkthroughs, feel free to like and or subscribe for me. That would just be absolutely fantastic. Um, so, of course, we're going to go for the Rain of Fire Hellfire over here. Add two additional meteors, and reduces the cooldown. Absolutely awesome. And, uh, you know, eventually we're going to get Ulrich up even further. He's only level 2 right now, which is kind of sad, but we're going to go up further. Eventually. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.